I was baptized as a baby into the Catholic Church. But it wasn't until I grew up that I realized how proud I am to be a Catholic. Because everywhere I went, I saw the church doing so much good for so many people, especially the littlest and weakest among us. I had the privilege of serving as the chair of Catholic Relief Services some years ago. And in that responsibility, I had an opportunity to travel to many countries around the world to see the church active and involved in the lives of people, caring for those who were suffering, reaching out to those who were hungry, providing safe water for people who were thirsting. I also became very proud of being a Catholic when I realized the company of saints of which we are a part. My favorite saint is Mother Teresa of Calcutta, who was such an incredible example of what it means to serve others. She inspires me to want to do more to help those who are struggling and those in need. You know, I am so impressed by our Holy Father, Pope Francis, who has shown us again and again and again how we can try to bring the world that is into greater harmony with the world that God intends. Right now, there is such a chasm between the world that is and the world that God intends. And it's our responsibility as Catholics, as those who have come to know the Lord, to be the hands and the feet of Christ in our day and in our time. And so we are part of a church that is many faces, speaks many languages, comes from every culture. How could we not be proud to be Catholic? And how can we not strive to reach out to those who are hurting and in need? One of my great privileges has been to serve people in prisons and on death row, and to realize that that person is a beloved child of God, precious in God's eyes. That's what we strive to do in this Lenten season, to try to be there for others, to introduce them to Christ. I'd like you to think about these questions. Who is a saint that inspires you, that models for you what it means to be a Catholic and what it means to serve? And secondly, try to think of something this Lenten time where you could bring the world that is into greater harmony with the world that God intends and to get involved in doing that. God bless.